Today's guests are two of my favorite people on the planet, though I do joke and call them my favorite aliens because they live up in Boulder Creek in the mountains above Santa Cruz. And Alan has jested that he swoops in, takes the technology, and then they take it back up to the mountains to create. And Alan and Son Lindell are amazing souls. I love them. And they have such a passion for using creativity and technology and merging the two to, well, just to create all kinds of amazing projects. I'm going to let them tell me a little bit more about it, but they also have a podcast for 10 years now, right, guys, called Dr. and Mrs. Yeah, Future. actually, uh, on, K on KSCO, it's actually AM and FM, a real radio uh -huh. uh, talk show. Live wow. talk radio. Yeah. I've been on it a few times. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. And yeah. also yeah. a podcast. So. <laughs> we, uh, we we talk about the future to drive time traffic. <laughs> right. And this <laughs> is your show. passion. Tell me a little bit about your passion for this. Well, I see, uh, you know, we both see a world that is way uh, better than the current one. Even though, you know, uh, spiritually, I see the perfection of what is. I also see how much better it can be. And so I see how the technology can help help move us in that direction. It has done. Technology has moved our species to uh, a very uh, abundant place in the universe right now. Uh, we have almost 8 billion people alive that the size of us, nowhere else in nature is any creature as big as us so supported uh, by, by the ecosystem and by our technology. I mean, the great apes maybe have 10,000. They're the closest to us in terms of size, 10 versus 8 billion. So and most of that has been do done uh, because of our use of technology and our understanding of, of how the universe works. And, you know, here um, at this time in our evolution as a planet, we are gifted with the inventions of humanity, such as technology, such as the Internet, to accelerate our ability to help the planet in ways that we've never had before. And we're just going through the labor pains of learning how to act as an 8 billion going to 10 billion member planetary brain. And that comes from what's inside of us, all of us bringing forth our gifts and putting them on a shared table to benefit each other. And we love that process. We are participating in that right. process. We are doing everything we can to cheerlead everything that helps human potential um, bring the best gifts to the future of humanity. And, and that, that, is the, <laughs> that is the greatest joy, isn't it? To take your passions, to take what you love doing, and to use it to make a difference in the world, a positive difference, ideally. Yeah, when you're doing it right, you get a lot of energy from it. Yep. You know, it feeds you. The universe yeah. gives you uh, rewards, uh, synchronicities. Uh, synchronicities that you're on like the right when path. we met. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like when we met back many, in the, many years uh, ago. back in the nineties. Wow. Yes. Yeah, quite a yes. while ago. From strange universe to passionate living. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you were part of the mastermind group when we came up with the name Passionate Living. Do you remember that? We were Whoa, sitting, I think, Stephen I Simon. We were working on Holistic Health magazine with you. Right. Yeah. And, and then um, Stephen Simon, I think Barnett Bain, filmmakers, uh, two great filmmakers. And I forget who else was in that group. But I remember you were there because I think you actually came up with the phrase. Like we were like passion, passionate, and we were playing with words. And you might have even been the son who said passionate living. The first time. Well, I uh, thank you. I have been credited <laughs> with many a uh, tip of the arrow phrase of the word. You know, <laughs> you got that Irish thing. You know, the the gift right. of the bard, the yeah. gift of the Blarney. Yeah. And you know, Catherine, I do believe I have some video from that session. Do you? Oh that. my gosh! Yeah. Could you send that? Do you? I mean, you have you've been archiving conversations with people since That's I. That's true. Yeah, I, I have a, I have this bug to archive the real time movie. Right. You know, uh, I feel like we live such an interesting life. Like, no one's going to believe it unless they see it for themselves. So, so I've been documenting. And this was pre-cell phones. Like, you have been archiving forever yes. since I've known you. Well, yeah. every, every... Well, we say, you can't make this stuff up. Right? <laughs> <laughs> every day, pretty much since 1986. Wow. And every day so I have this massive uh, uh, digital archive um, 
a lot of it's still on tape. A lot of it's a labor of love just to get the tapes into uh, digital form so we right. can look at it. Right. And it, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense financially to <laughs> shoot your life like this. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's actually it's coming in handy. Yeah. I mean, really, it's, it's a life mm -hmm. passion that is such a gift to our entire tribe. Like all of the people that have come through our lives, we have portraits of them at significant moments. And it's That's really amazing. precious. Now yeah. you had and, um, a you had a memorials. It really works well. With oh memorials. yeah, I'll bet it does for memorials. See, someday yeah. if I go before you, you'll have all kinds of great material yeah, we'll do for a the great memorial. Show on you. Thanks, thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. Passionate living producer. <laughs> Lots of well, you can, Matt, well, you'll figure out how we can zoom from the other side. If anybody can do it, I know it'll be you guys. <laughs> You've been working on that one a while. Trans-dimensional trans communicators. Yeah, we right. have a few people who've passed over who agreed to reach back. And, you know. Well, one of them uh, actually was, uh, you know, uh, is Pat Flanagan, uh, who, uh, who had just, whose birthday was just yesterday, and he oh. died last year. Uh, so he's ripe for this kind of transdimensional. Right. He invented the neurophone and some other things. So he's definitely one of our scientists on the other side that we're wow. going to be attempting to communicate with. Yeah, I think we yeah. just haven't quite perfected where to look for the email. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that could be. <laughs> now, you were going to talk yeah. a little today about the spatial web. Can you tell me what is that? Yes. Yes. Um, well, for, first of all, the, the way that the Internet works today, it's pretty much a document server. It's serving HTML files. It's serving JPEGs, um, movie files, MP4s. Um, it's all, you know, basically serving files. And that's really great. It works really well uh, for what that is, uh, except that it's beginning to have a lot of problems uh, with security, with uh, people tracking you, with the spam and and uh, and it's and it's kind of limited because it's just about documents. What the spatial web, which is the next in, incarnation of the internet, as uh, the technology evolves, is and it is uh, where you like virtual reality. You heard of virtual reality? Um, it's uh, where you have spaces that you visit. See, that's the thing is that we're moving more towards a live <laughs> mm -hmm. interface now, where we're doing live right. like we are with you on this uh, and the Zoom call. We need, a, we need a net that's designed for this sort of live, real-time interaction. And there's two things that are happening a lot, the live stuff and the virtual reality worlds. You'll start to really see that take off uh, with the release of the uh, Apple Glasses next year. You know, mm. that they'll really, it's, it's a, they call it a mixed reality. So the idea of the spatial web is that it's not so much just serving documents as it is serving spaces like rooms, like the room that we're in here, the room that you're in, those rooms become what the net is uh, connecting us into. And then we occupy the rooms and meet other people in them and that these rooms are networked and they're connected with each other. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being on the show today. It's such a blast and I miss you both so much. Oh, we miss you too. Come, on. come out for your, your birthday. I know, yeah. our Libra birthdays. Yeah, yeah, oh, we're Librans. Yeah. I know, I, I, could, right. I could rough it and crash at the beach house there and take walks. You could, it'd that. be a, a, a tough choice. But, uh. I know. <laughs> yep, we've, we've got a guest room for you. All right. Come on down. <laughs> All right, I'll just tell everybody at the station, you know. I'll be gone yeah, for a while. They'll have to day. defend without you. Yeah, that's right. You're going you to bring the new Oculus 2 that's just coming out. Oh, that's <laughs> it. You can Oculus in. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, I love you guys. <laughs> love you too, sweetie. All right. Great bye -bye. talking to you. Nice talking to you. Bye-bye.